It is eight o'clock in the morning and the third day here, we decided to locate some of the mine workings. Not as easy as you might think. These are our flagging markers that mark the road, which is overgrown in most areas. So you kind of just have to find these. I have GPS waypoints now though. But here is one of the adits here. This one looks like it's flooded. Supposed to be a couple more, so we're gonna poke around this area for four or five hours and uh, see what else we can find. I'm gonna try and be out of here by two o'clock, be most of the heat of the day. Yesterday it was 38 degrees, so pretty brutal. First dump sample I hammered, you can see massive calcopyrite. Just gorgeous. You even have quartz diorite that's mineralized with calcopyrite. You can see some malachite on there. Interesting, your wall rock is also mineralized a bit. What do we have here? A second mine dump. This one's quite a bit bigger than that last one. The last one's covered with some uh, moss, as is most of the outcrop up here. This is a pretty substantial sized dump. Gotta be about 20 meters tall, 30 meters wide. Lots of mineralization in the dump, I can tell already. Malachite standing on a lot of the rocks. Whew. There's a mine up there. There's more dump material down there. So we're gonna sample some dump material. We're gonna sample some of the mine. We're gonna sample some outcrop up here. This is pretty cool. Inside one of the mine adits, you can see, still got the rail ties in there. Very intensely mineralized. You can see there's also quartz cutting through the scarn and the quartz is a bit mineralized as well. This is all mineralized all throughout here. Gorgeous. All the way up to here. And then you have mineralization up there and exposing an open cut over there. Along here, you have hunks of bedrock peeking out, which are also mineralized. I'd say a good 15 to 18 meters is the width of this, what I can confirm. Very beautiful. This is a pretty typical sample. You can see the massive calcopyrite, pyrite and pyrotite. From what I've been able to tell, about 50% of the samples I've hammered so far are mineralized and most of them are massive sulfides like this. So we're going to try and take a nice representative continuous chip sample 
right inside the mine there, right across a nice width. We got some grab samples. We got some dump samples that are really nice. You can see all this, most of this that we've hammered open is mineralized. For instance, this one. So I got a nice little chip sample from inside there. Sampling out here. And pretty much any sample you hit anywhere you see oxidation is semi-massive to massive sulfites. So we're going to do another chip sample across here. You can see semi-massive sulfides. As you can see, massive sulfides, pyrite, calcopyrite, pyrotate. Chunk out of that chip sample that we're doing. So you can see down there where our bags are, that's the very top of the dump. And inside here is where the main Santana mine at it was struck. And as you can see here, you have banded limestone running this way. And they punched this hole in here. And you can see on the back in contact with your banded limestone there. You have the mineralized scarn body, which is about 15 to 18 meters away from where that far side of the added is down there. You can see, look at this. Limestone, limestone, limestone. Mineralization, mineralization. Yeah, this is all mineralized down here too. Oh, that is a shaft. Interesting. Goes down about uh, 15, 20 meters. So we are going to sample up in here as well. Looks like that's dump material down there. And there's a open cut along here where that was blasted out. We'll sample that as well. We've taken a grab sample off the wall there. You can see scarn, semi-massive, almost massive mineralization. Again, calcopyrite. Pyrite and pyrotite. Another sample off there. Again, massive sulfides, more massive sulfides, and more. So we've determined on surface, this is about 15 to 18 meters in thickness. This is actually opened up for 600 meters on strike below and above via open cuts and trenching. So we're not gonna be able to confirm all of that today. There is many historical assays and maps and geological reports that uh, tell you that. So that's for another trip. We're going to do a little bit more sampling before we head out. So we are on our way out. Hey look. 
there's like a ferret or something down there. The strike of the Crown Grands appears to be this way, going down that way. So along this strike, there is workings opened up and open cuts over 600 meters reportedly. When we have more time, we will check that out. We did quite an extensive sampling and hiking program on new logging areas and some areas that were hard to reach. So this is our last day. We decided to come to the mine site and check it out and we will be back soon. On our way out, we noticed a pile here. Looks like stockpiled. Ready for processing, it's mostly massive sulfides. Semi-massive sulfides. Pyrite, calcopyrite, and pyrotite. So a nice big pile here waiting to go. This is part of the dump. Extends around there. And then underneath where this moss covered is, is a dump from up there in the open cut. So, let's hike out of here. Sound good? So on our way out, we found a post. You can see copper number three, 500W, Santa Ana. That one you can't really read. Look at it's just grown into the tree. Copper number three, Santa Ana two, Santa Ana two. These are all Santa Ana two. H A J E V locator. Interesting. So this is a claim post, obviously. We are near the road that we came in.